this was an impulse buy. I was in Harbor Freight and I saw this for 10 bucks and I thought, what the hell? I had a, I had a gift card and um, I don't know. I opened up the box and looked at the, at, uh, the sole and it seemed fairly flat. So I thought I could probably make it flat without too much effort if it, was, if it wasn't. Uh, so I thought, nah, I'll just uh, give it a spin. Now I have a lot. I have a lot of planes, very nice planes. But I also like to have some inexpensive planes hanging around that I can use for um, for rough work. Well, you know, when I'm dealing with like plywood, sometimes I use. I like to use a, a plane with uh, plywood, and I prefer not to use my better planes for that. So I thought, well, maybe, maybe that's what I use this for. Definitely uh, strange. It uh, kind of looks like it, it's. I think I've seen some of these before. It's um, it's like a spoke shave kind of a blade setup. So, um, well, let's, uh, basically I'm going to take this apart and, um, and see what condition it's in and see if I can get, get this to take some nice shavings. Checking the flatness shows that uh, there's some gaps that can fit, easily fit a 2000 uh, feeler gauge through there. It's not horrible though. I've uh, I've taken a look at like Buck Brothers and the you know Home Depot and those things look like bananas sometimes. This it's really not that bad. And um, and this way it's it's fairly good too. So uh, it's a pretty coarse grind on the bottom. So I, I think I should be able to flatten this up pretty quick. Let's take this apart. Um, doesn't really have a chip breaker, just a uh, cap iron. And the blade, and there's no adjustments. So you're, uh, you're left with uh, the, mouse, the, the mouth opening that you have, which is uh, fairly wide. Again, this is a ten dollar plane, so I'm not, and my expectations are are fairly low. This blade is this blade is hilarious. Um, if you can see how uh, of course it, maybe maybe this is being sold as um, as scrub plane blade. <laughs> But again, I should be able to grind that flat. Who knows what the quality of this uh, steel is. That's it, not much more to do. I don't think I'm gonna attempt to, uh, to do any more work on this part. So I'm just gonna uh, straighten, up the bla straighten the blade sharpen it and then um, take this to uh, you know, try and sharpen this on my diamond plate and I'll go from there this is after about five minutes sharpening on um, about a 200 grit diamond plate. So I'm making good progress. I'll get back to you when, I, uh, when I've completed, completed the flattening. I'll show you how long it takes.
I think I'm done with the flattening. So after, unfortunately, after spending about 30 minutes on the diamond plate, I had, um, most of this was flat, but right around the mouth, it was still pretty bad. And I should have done this earlier. So I put, uh, this is some 60 grit aluminum oxide sandpaper. And after about five minutes, I was able to get it down to this state. I think that's gonna be flat enough. So um, I'm going to go to stroke it a little bit on 120 and I might take it to the diamond plate just to shine it up a bit more. But uh, other than that, I think this is going to be flat enough, certainly for this plane. You know, I have the bottom flat enough. It's time to work on this blade. I have no idea what, um, of course, what, what the quality of the metal of this blade is. Again, my expectations aren't very high, but um, we'll see. So I'll take it to the grinder, uh, flatten it, and then, um, or straighten it, and then put a 25 degree bevel on it. And I'll take it to my sharpening stones and uh, get it as sharp as I can. Here's the condition of the bevel. You can see that uh, it's certainly not, not square or straight. It's pretty rough, rough condition. I'm going to take care of that at the, the grinder. I've ground about a 30 degree bevel, which that looks good now. Now you gotta work in the back. I've already spent about 10 minutes, 10 to 15 minutes before I worked on the bevel. I was curious how, how flat the back was and it's not very flat. So this is about, yeah, 10 to 15 minutes of working on my um, coarse stone. And uh, I got a section here, it's still still um, below the surface. So I have a feeling I'm gonna be working another um, good 10 minutes to get rid of that. Well, it took me 15 to 20 minutes, maybe, maybe longer than 20 minutes to flatten the back, polish it, and then um, polish the bevel. I think we're good to go now to install this. And the plane, I haven't done anything more from what you saw me do before in terms of just flattening the bottom. I haven't touched the sides. So, let's see how this works. Very interesting. This blade mechanism is definitely strange. Because uh, I, I can't, um, as you adjust it back and forward, you have to do it side by side. So you're, you're always going to be messing up your alignment. Well, again, this is a this is a ten dollar plane, folks. I'm just really going to be interested to see how this performs. I think it's good. There is no chip breaker, so no, no adjustments there. I think you technically, you really don't need a chip breaker, absolutely, if your blade is very sharp and you're and you have um, and this is and it's flat here to compress the wood fibers I and, you know I think you can get a good good shaving I guess we're going to find out right now first up is some uh, poplar I'm 
no shaving. Again, the adjustment mechanism is strange. For shaving. Looks good. It's kind of a little heavy though. That's pretty good. Well, no complaints. Let's try uh, face face grain. Well, I think this is a success. It's pretty cool. I mean, Ten bucks, and uh, this is taking beautiful shavings. It's um, this is a piece of maple. bit heavy. Start backing this up a little bit. Blade adjustment mechanism definitely leaves something to be desired. It's workable though. Well, it's leaving a beautiful surface. You can't uh, feel it, obviously, but um, it feels as good as my best planes. It's not the it doesn't feel the smoothest pushing it through the wood. This is maple, of course. Uh, it does seem to be working great on, on this. Let's try um, try some um, end grain just for kicks. I think you can hear it. Let's take 
making some nice end grain shavings. Not that I'm going to use this for, uh, for planting end grain, but uh, just to demonstrate its capabilities. Let me change the cam camera angle and see if maybe give you a little better shot at uh, at planting the face screen again. So you can see the shavings come off the plane. Back to the poplar. Blade seems to be holding up fine too. It it did take quite a bit of work to sharpen it, so it's it's not definitely not soft metal. Let's see if I can get a little bit finer. I'm happy. Good, good ten dollar investment, I think. Well, I think this ten dollar experiment was a great success. This uh, number thirty three bench plane, whatever that is, from uh, Windsor Design from Harbor Freight. It is a piece of junk out of the box. I feel sorry for anyone who uh, doesn't really know the details of a hand plane, how to use it, how to set up. I feel sorry for that person who were to buy one of these planes. They would destroy anything they attempted to, to put this plane to. Uh, but if you do know how to tune up a plane properly, I think this is a great investment. If you want to uh, plane for some of your rougher work, ten bucks, and I'd, I'd say a good two hours worth of work to flatten the bottom and take care of the blade. But then you have a very serviceable plane. Now I'm not going to be using this for my fine woodworking. Um, my whole intent was to use this for um, planing edges of plywood, which I have to do sometimes, MDF, or any uh, you know really rough wood that I don't want to uh, take my better planes to. That was that was my goal, and I had a feeling I'd be able to tune this up. Um, but I wasn't sure sure since it didn't have a chip breaker. So uh, if you if you know your way around planes, and you feel like spending a little bit of time, and you, and then you could make use of a plane like this for some of your uh, rougher work, uh, I think it's a great buy and, and you, you can see it, it actually takes beautiful shavings. Well, um, thanks for watching my experiment. <laughs>